The Limpopo River, winding through the heart of South Africa and forming a natural border with Zimbabwe, is a vital source of life for the region. Its waters nourish wildlife, sustain villages, and provide a lifeline for local communities. But the river's beauty hides a darker side. Known for its treacherous currents and dense vegetation, the Limpopo is also home to some of Africa's most feared predators. Among them is one crocodile that, over the years, has become the stuff of legend. This crocodile, larger and more aggressive than most, has haunted the riverbanks, preying on animals and sometimes humans who stray too close to its domain. Known as the Crocodile of the Limpopo, this predator has earned a fearsome reputation as one of South Africa's most dangerous animals. Local villagers were the first to spot the massive crocodile that would soon earn its deadly reputation. Fishermen described it as a giant, over 16 feet in length, with scales as dark as the river itself and eyes that seemed to pierce through the water. Some claimed to have seen it lurking near the shallows, its broad head and powerful jaws barely visible above the surface. Soon, rumors began to spread about livestock disappearing from riverbanks and the occasional horrific sight of human remains found along the shore. The villagers became convinced that this crocodile was not just a danger to animals but was targeting humans as well, adding a chilling new dimension to their fear of the Limpopo. The Limpopo crocodile was not an easy creature to catch. Local authorities and wildlife experts tried setting traps and laying bait, but the crocodile seemed to evade every attempt with an uncanny intelligence. Even experienced hunters struggled, describing the crocodile's ability to disappear into the river's murky depths at the slightest hint of danger. Its elusive nature only fueled its legend, with some villagers believing that it had supernatural powers or that it was the spirit of an ancient warrior protecting the river. The crocodile's skill in evading capture was both frustrating and terrifying, leaving the community on edge and reinforcing the idea that it was no ordinary predator. The true horror of the Limpopo crocodile became apparent when the first human casualties were reported. A fisherman, venturing too close to the water's edge, was attacked in broad daylight. Witnesses described seeing the massive crocodile lunge from the water, clamping down on the man with a force that left no chance of escape. Over the following months, several more villagers and travelers met a similar fate, taken by the crocodile when they least expected it. The crocodile struck with incredible speed, often dragging its victims into the water before anyone could react. Its size and power made it impossible to fend off and it quickly became clear that the Limpopo River was no longer safe. As the death toll rose, the people of the Limpopo River region were gripped by fear. Entire families refused to go near the water, and many abandoned fishing and washing along the riverbank, activities that were essential to their livelihood. Villagers started organizing patrols to watch over those who needed to be near the river hoping to spot the crocodile before it struck. Some even attempted to call on spiritual leaders and traditional healers, hoping that they could somehow ward off the predator. The river, once a source of life and community, had now become a place of dread, casting a shadow over daily life in the area. Desperate to protect the community, local authorities and wildlife conservationists brought in expert hunters to track down the crocodile. These hunters, skilled in capturing large predators, set up watch along the riverbanks and laid bait in hopes of luring the beast out. They were well-armed and experienced, but they knew they were facing a formidable opponent. For weeks, they monitored the river, waiting for the crocodile to make its appearance. But the crocodile proved to be as elusive as it was deadly, evading every attempt to trap or kill it. The hunters began to realize that they were dealing with a creature that had mastered the art of survival in its domain one that had little fear of humans and understood how to avoid capture. After weeks of tense waiting, the hunters finally got their chance. One evening, just as the sun dipped below the horizon, the crocodile was spotted near a shallow stretch of the river, its dark form partially visible in the water. The hunters moved quickly 
positioning themselves around it. The silence was thick as they prepared to strike, aware that this could be their only opportunity. As they approached, the crocodile sensed the trap and in a burst of speed, lunged back toward the depths. A hunter managed to fire a shot, hitting the crocodile and injuring it. The beast thrashed violently, sending waves crashing onto the shore, but after a brutal struggle, it was finally subdued. The community could breathe a sigh of relief, though they would never forget the terror of the crocodile's reign. With the crocodile's death, life along the Limpopo River began to return to normal. Fishermen returned to the water's edge and villagers resumed their daily routines, cautiously venturing back to the river. But the story of the crocodile of the Limpopo had already taken on a life of its own. People continued to share tales of the monster that had haunted the riverbanks, its legend growing with each retelling. Some claimed to hear splashes in the river at night, believing that the crocodile spirit still lurked in the waters, watching from below. For the people of Limpopo, the crocodile story became a chilling reminder of the deadly power of nature. The tale of the Limpopo crocodile served as both a warning and a lesson for the community. Wildlife experts later suggested that drought or scarcity of prey might have driven the crocodile to target humans, a tragic consequence of environmental changes affecting the river. The story highlighted the delicate balance between people and wildlife reminding everyone of the risks inherent in living close to nature's most powerful creatures. Today, the crocodile of the Limpopo is remembered as a local legend, a predator that terrorized the river but also taught valuable lessons about respect, caution, and coexistence with the natural world. The crocodile of the Limpopo remains a symbol of both fear and fascination. Its story is shared with visitors, students and children, not only as a thrilling tale, but as a reminder of the wild power that exists in the heart of nature. For many, the crocodile represents a fierce will to survive, a creature that ruled its domain with unmatched skill and strength. Though it is gone, its legacy continues to shape the way people see the Limpopo River, a place of life, danger, and awe. The crocodile may no longer haunt the river, but its memory lives on, as eternal as the waters of the Limpopo itself.